How's it going guys? It's me, Technology Dude 117 and today was a pretty big game, uh, or a pretty big game, <laughs> a pretty big day as far as game releases go. Uh, we had two huge releases today, we had Sleeping Dogs, of course, and we also had Darksiders 2, which I will be saving for another unboxing. Got both of these games off of Amazon, did, um, the, you know, first day shipping, the release day shipping. Um, I've been waiting here, like, all day. It's 3 o'clock now, and the games have finally come. I've been waiting all day for these to come. Um, and, you know, thank gosh it didn't come late at night, because on the UPS tracking it said um, that it was going to come by the end of the day, which usually means about 7 o'clock, because I pre-ordered my Vita on Amazon, and that didn't come until, like, 7 o'clock at night. Um, so I was waiting for that for a while. But I did get Sleeping Dogs and Darksiders 2, uh, both off of Amazon with the release day shipping. Uh, I absolutely love Amazon.com. The only thing is the shipping, uh, which isn't even Amazon's fault. It's UPS's fault. But uh, I absolutely love Amazon. With Sleeping Dogs, I got the Kung Fu pack or the martial arts pack, something like that. Uh, and then I also got a $10 Amazon gift card, which I'm going to use towards Transformers Fall of Cybertron. And then with Darksiders, I got some awesome DLC. But uh, this is Sleeping Dogs. Uh, at first, when I first saw this game, I was a little skeptical. I was like, ah, this is going to be... This is going to be crap, but then I realized who was developing it, United Front. Uh, they are behind, obviously, Mod Nation Racers and the up-and-coming uh, Little Big Planet Karting. So when I found out that they were making Sleeping Dogs, I looked uh, a little more into it, and uh, I saw a bunch of gameplay, and I guess I guess you can say I became a believer. Uh, and then I got pretty excited for the game. Now, this was only like three weeks ago, and I got excited for it. Um, but it is finally here in my hands. I can't wait to play it. It is an open world game. Uh, it's not a GTA killer, um, necessarily. Um, but apparently it is better than GTA 4. But I don't know what we could say about GTA 5. We're going to have to wait uh, for that to come out now. Uh, like I said, I got the martial arts pack with this. Uh, the, the case art is awesome. Uh, on one side you got like the cops. The other side you got the triads. In the middle you got Wei Shen. Uh, main character. I'm guessing that's the dragon head right there, and then that's some of your friends. That's like the police lady, maybe the head of police. You got Way right here with a uh, gun, and then you got Way here with a machete. Uh, pretty awesome. The game is published by Square Enix. Originally, uh, just some background history on this game. You guys probably already know this, but let me reiterate. Um, originally, this game was going to be True Crime Hong Kong, but uh, Activision dropped it. So shame on you, Activision. You could have had this great product. Hopefully it'll sell a lot. You know, rub this right in Activision's uh, noses. And then uh, Square Enix picked up the project. And um, and then from there we got what is this final copy uh, or of Sleeping Dogs. So uh, let's check out the back. Um, welcome to Hong Kong. Got some nice screenshots there. Uh, it is PlayStation Network for leaderboards, add-on content, and trophies. There's no multiplayer, uh, sadly enough. Uh, let's check out some of the finer details here. Uh, it is one player. It is 4.6 gigabytes on the hard drive, 720p HD, and DualShock 3 compatible. So uh, this game looks awesome. Let's unbox it so I can play it. Uh, maybe I'll get up some gameplay later. I don't know if I will even have time because I have some other stuff to do today. But um, if I do, I will definitely get up some gameplay for Sleeping Dogs. I'm uh, very excited. Let's take it to the side because it has your Square Enix members thing right here. Uh, don't want anybody to see that. So then you got the disc, awesome dragon, and then you got Hong Kong in the background. Fully realized uh, world here, open world. Uh, and then the manual is three pages. And then you got a Hitman Absolution um, advertisement, which I'll probably be picking up. That's a chintzy manual. And uh, nothing really too spectacular here uh, with the Sleeping Dogs unboxing. But uh, anyway, guys, that is uh, that's that for Sleeping Dogs. If you guys enjoyed, do not forget to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe. Also, share this with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Also, let me know down below if you guys want to see any uh, Sleeping Dogs gameplay. I'll do my best to get that up. Anyway, guys, that is that for the unboxing of Sleeping Dogs. Like I said, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, please, guys, check out my Darksiders 2 uh, limited edition unboxing as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you.